Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Leslie from gotokitchens.com. How's everybody doing today? Hey Marcy, Marcy's the first one in. Hey Joy, thanks for being here. Hello, hello. Hey Sandy, I think I saw Sandy pop in. It's good to see you guys today. <laughs> right? I know. Yes, please. <laughs> How do we do this? <laughs> I know there should be like 10,000 people in this room right now. <laughs> that should be like the hottest topic of today. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to talk about, we are doing uh, beauty equals food, our food, <laughs> food equals beauty all week this week. And so I'm super excited about this particular topic today because as you can see, I have my own gray hair. Now I'm 46. I'm doing pretty good with gray hair. I do not color my hair. This is my natural color. I've never ever colored my hair ever once because I always like the color of my hair. Um, and when I started going gray a couple of years ago, about two years ago, um, I started noticing more and more gray and, um, and I thought, you know, I have a choice. I can color it or not to color it. So, right. I know they are totally. Um, and so, um, I chose not to. And so, I've been thinking about this topic for quite a while. Can you reverse it? I've talked to my hair uh, stylist about it. I have talked to doctors about it. I've talked to naturopaths about it. Um, I've talked to Chinese medicine gurus about it. Um, and they all had one food in mind that could actually help reduce or reverse or stop. It may not reverse, but stop a gray hair. So yes, amazing. This is amazing information. I can't can't wait to share it with you today. So, um, hey Sarah, it's good to see you guys. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you do, I know, right? <laughs> All mouse ears. <laughs> so right down here in the corner, hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. So right down here, I know, what is the food? Right down here in the corner, if you'd share out with your followers, I would appreciate that. You can share here on Periscope, you can share out to Facebook, and you can share out to Twitter. If you share all three places, I would be forever grateful. Thank you guys so much for trusting me enough to share out with your people. I see a lot of you have already done that. Thank you so much. So thank you guys so much. So let me introduce myself. My name is Leslie. I have a website to go to kitchens.com. Um, I am a real food blogger and I focus on eating, fortifying our bodies with real food. And I think it's just so important for us to understand that it's not hard, first of all, it is not hard to, to live this lifestyle and that it is, um, and that the food tastes great. I mean, it's like two simple principles, right? <laughs> Gary. <laughs> You got me on that one, Gary. <laughs> what are you doing here? Spread the word, Gary. Spread the word. <laughs> so that is my main goal in life. I also consider myself a light bulb expert, and I like for people to have light bulb moments in their health. I had one uh, three years ago, getting over three years ago now, um, when I was diagnosed with cancer. And I like to help people have light bulb moments before they're diagnosed with cancer, before they get, you know, whatever it is that makes them have these light bulb moments. I'd like to encourage you to have them before that. So this is what we're going to talk about. So Gary, you said that about gray hair, but this actually, this one food actually helps stimulate hair growth as well. And so thank you guys so much for sharing out. I appreciate that so much. Um, so I know. <laughs> what is that light bulb? You ready? So let's talk about why our hair, I know you guys are like, come on. <laughs> so let's talk about um, <laughs> Brussels sprouts. You guys, oh, you guys can totally guess. If you guys want to guess, you can totally guess at what the food is. And while you're do while you're putting up your guesses, um, I would love to see those. That's awesome. Um, let's talk about why we lose pigment in our hair in the first place. Carrots, right? Uh, black sesame seeds. Very good, Marcy. Asparagus. <laughs> Not Brussels sprouts. Not the Brussels sprouts. No! <laughs> Ginger, broccoli. Yeah, turmeric. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, I know. Coconut oil. Okay, those are all incredibly great guesses. Garlic, hemp. Awesome. All right, so those are all incredibly great guesses. Fish oil, 
Yes, pray for Brussels. Absolutely. Isn't that the truth, right? I know it's such a, it's such a tragedy when things like that happen. I took a moment this morning and said my prayers and my meditation this morning for the people that were affected and for the people that wish so much harm in our, uh, in our human race. Other humans wanting to harm other humans is just beyond my comprehension. And so, um, so I prayed for wisdom for those people to, to, banish that hate and that anger that they have, right? So, dang, no notifications. That's weird, Janie, so weird. Maybe you have me on mute. Maybe you're just sick of me and you put me on mute. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's do this, I know. So here's why we lose uh, pigment in our hair. So as we age, it's actually part of the aging process, obviously. So um, <laughs> as we age, we actually start to lose melanin in our um, in our skin, actually, the color of our skin, and also in our hair follicles. And so that means as the hair grows out, it loses its ability to produce the pigment to make the color of your hair. And when it grows out, it actually grows out as a kind of a transparent. So what you see as gray, right, um, is actually a transparent, what they consider a transparent hair. <laughs> so that's what some people have. They have transparent hair. <laughs> they have hair. It's just transparent. <laughs> so, hey, Leslie, I know it is totally weird and it's part of the aging process. So when we start focusing on things that is um, that are anti-aging, right? Yes, I know. I've heard that actually happened to my grandmother as well. Um, when she was young, we'll talk about that in just a second, actually. I'm going to tell you a little story. So when you were 15, right? Gray when they were 30. Yes. And so this happens. It's, it's what's the crazy thing about it is in our society is that gray hair is like gray hair. Oh my God, I've got gray hair. And it's like automatically you feel old. Like the first day you find your gray hair, it's like, well, I'm going to be getting a senior citizens card really soon. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's part of the natural aging process, right? Uh, <laughs> that's right. So, <laughs> that's so funny. You've been gray since you were 15. I know. And that happens to a lot of people. They lose the pigment in their hair. Um, and you can all, it can also happen in your skin as well. Um, you've seen people that have lost pigment in a part of their skin somewhere. Um, and that, and that it happens in our skin and our hair primarily. So, so as we get older, Older, it actually gets harder for us to achieve color in our skin if we're outdoors a lot or anything like that. So I know I like gray hair. My husband has beautiful salt and pepper hair. My dad, the same way, salt and pepper hair. And for men, it makes them look distinguished. And for women, it, we have this thought that it makes us look old and it just drives me nuts. So I know uh, who gets frizzy hair with age, right? So some people do like their gray hair is not like their, their hair was before. And that is because that hair follicle is drying up and it doesn't produce the oil that it used to produce. So, right. I know total silver Fox. So gray hair at 11. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that had this, that, that have this sort of thing happen. So first of all, let me say it is not your fault. <laughs> Let me just say that right out. This is not your fault. This is something that your body has done. Um, a lot of time it is caused from, somebody said stress. A lot of times it can be caused for from large amounts of stress. So if you go through, I, I tease my mom. <laughs> I teased my mom all the time. She had a stroke eight years ago, and I was like, that's when I started getting gray hair is when you had your stroke because I was so stressed out. Um, I know that I had a growth spurt or I lost some pigment in my hair when I had cancer because I was so stressed out. So yeah, and it can be in your genetics. There are a lot of things that contribute. Yes, B12, actually a B12 can, uh, deficiency can cause premature gray hair, um, but it is really not something that you are probably like putting on yourself, <laughs> right? So some people damage their hair and their hair follicles with uh, chemicals. So do, using too many chemicals can actually cause you to lose your hair and can actually cause your hair to go gray earlier. So every time you're coloring all those gray hairs, you're probably just creating more gray hair. <laughs> so yes, and of course, absolutely, as we age, which we are all going to do, you cannot stop it. Um, and we are all going to do, you're actually going to, um, you're actually going to lose some of the pigmentation, but you can help 
you can help slow down that process with this particular food. And in some cases, it's been reported that you can reverse it. So what is the food, right? What is this magical food? Ready? Are you ready? Drum roll. The magical food is, Marcy got it right, it is black sesame seeds. Black sesame seeds are kind of like... <laughs> Janie, <laughs> I was cool until you had one, right? Yeah, yeah. So black sesame seeds. I know. it's This is crazy town. This is crazy. When I started reading the last week, I started reading on this subject. And when I started reading some reports about this, now there's no scientific, there's no scientific reports that say this, but there are a lot of people who have tried it. And I've read all the reports and seen the pictures. And I mean, it's crazy how much information you can find out about this. I know. Never had it. Never had it, right? I know, I know, me too, I need to try it. I'm totally getting on it. I'm gonna try some black sesame seeds. So the first time I heard this, I was actually making a rockstar oatmeal with marvelous Mark Camp. And um, we were making rockstar oatmeal and he put black sesame seeds in there and he was like, hey, this is, the black sesame seeds are really great for anti-aging and they're really especially great for the skin and for gray hair. And then he looked at me and I was like, shut it. <laughs> So I know. I was like, wait a second. That's not funny, Mark. <laughs> Stop. Cut. We were filming. I was like, cut. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> it was so funny. So I mean, he just like looked right at me and he's Mark's in his 50s and he looks amazing. And if you want to see the replay on um on my on my uh website, the if you Google, I mean sorry, if you if you put in if blah, 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 if you go to my recipes at gotokitchens.com and you put in uh, rockstar oatmeal, you will find this video. And I mean, you can just see me like, I'm like, what, what, you, what? <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> so stop picking on my gray hair, dude. So yes, <laughs> so it's black sesame seeds. So let's talk about how this works, right? So this can actually help prevent hair loss. It can actually reverse hair loss and it can actually help prevent and reverse in some cases, not everybody, but in some cases help reverse gray hair. Now I'm convinced that nobody wants the secret out because if the secret's out, then you're all going to stop coloring your hair. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. How do you use it? So basically black sesame seeds are an anti-aging real food. And what we think about here is that they are full of the word that I use all the time, antioxidants. They are absolutely full of antioxidants, but they really are full of antioxidants that trigger the aging, I mean, excuse me, that target the aging process and can neutralize and reverse skin damage, hair loss, and and a gray hair. So I know, it's crazy. And I mean, who? I, sesame seeds are easy to eat, right? So hand over the sesame seeds. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, so there's there's some specific things in there. We're gonna talk about why the white, not the white ones and why the black ones. So the black ones actually have very specific properties to them that um, have all kinds of minerals in it that we that are kind of hard to get in some cases. And so, yes. All right, so let's talk about that. You guys are all making guesses. I mean, like there's gonna be a run on sesame seeds now. <laughs> black sesame seeds. So basically, Chinese medicine says that this particular black sesame seed, the property of the black sesame seed, actually works through your kidney and your liver to deliver this anti-aging. And so it balances your yen. So they say if your yen is out of balance, then you're getting um, you're getting gray hair, you're losing your hair, your skin is flaky or weird or anything like that. So yes, right? Um, I don't know about blue ones. I have never seen blue sesame seeds. I didn't even know about black ones till about a year ago. So, and then it actually helps promote the melon, uh, the melanin, excuse me, and it can contribute to your skin overall. So the color of your skin. So if you're feeling pale or you're feeling uh, grayish, like we get this gray tone in our skin sometimes, especially if we're stressed or we're not well, it can actually help with that. It can help smooth the skin and it can help keep the oil in the hair as well. Holy cow, why are we not all eating this stuff, right? So beyond that, beyond that, it helps with these kinds of things, right? 
So um, what about sun exposure? I think you should be exposed to the sun. But anyway. Yes, that's right. You're absolutely right there. Yep. I don't know what that is, actually, Lujane, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's right. Put it in the salad. I'm doing it. All right. So here are the other things that it helps with. This is a powerful little seed. It's probably one of the most powerful seeds or nuts that you can actually eat. It helps with bone health because it has 88 milligrams of calcium per tablespoon. That is more than eight ounces in a glass of milk. That's crazy, right? I think I got that right. I may not have gotten that right, but when I did the comparison, when I looked at the comparison charts and I didn't write it down properly, maybe, but it has 88 milligrams of calcium. It has a ton of calcium in it. It has tryptophan and magnesium in it, which is going to help with what? Sleeping. So it actually aids in your sleep. So sleeping is great, right? Hair print. Look it up. Okay, we will. <coughs> ah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that will help with that or not. It's possible, though. Uh, <laughs> I like to sleep. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it helps with your skin. We've talked about that. It actually helps prevent. So one of the things that is most damaging to our skin is dry. So losing the oil and the collagen base in your skin actually is what contributes to the wrinkles, which contributes to the fine lines, which contributes to the, uh, the, the, uh, it can contribute to redness in the skin. And so when we have moisture loss, we have a lot of these problems. The same thing happens in your hair. And so um, when the moisture is there, when you have a lot of moisture, I'm not talking about stuff you put on it after you blow dried it or whatever. I'm talking about actual natural oil coming from the scalp, right? We kill a lot of that with a lot of the shampoos that we use, um, but it can actually help reduce, um, excuse me, prevent moisture loss and help reduce redness and itching in the scalp and in the skin. I know, crazy, crazy, crazy. I know I have super, super oily skin as well, Janie. And um, the girl that I get my facials from, she said, <laughs> she was like, I have to tell you, you're never going to look old. And I was like, okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Why? And she said, you're never going to look old because you have so much oil in your skin. You are, your skin is so moisturized and so oily. It's awesome. But actually oily, as I did a little bit of research, can also indicate that you have dry skin under the subcutaneous level. So yes, I know it's crazy. I was like, okay, awesome. So <laughs> yes, I mean, so like if you take, for example, like this is my hair, right? I blow dried it this morning. I did not because I didn't want it to be wet half the day. So I actually blow dried my hair this morning and I don't have any product in my hair. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the blow dryer. I just use a roll brush and a blow dryer, but I have so much natural oil in my hair that it just, it just does this natural thing, right? I do have gray. Absolutely. Look at that. You can see right there. Yeah. And I do not color my hair. I refuse to use those chemicals to color my hair. So it's just so gray. We have to go. Yeah. But it's part of my diet as well. It's part of how I eat as well. That makes these differences because most women in my age, I'm 46. Most women in my age start getting really, really dry hair um, because of estrogen balances start changing as we get closer to menopause. And so, yeah. So yes, <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I am mostly American Indian. Yeah. So men menopause will definitely Leslie spot on there. It will definitely cause the hair to dry, um, our skin to dry. So we need things to fortify that. And black sesame will actually help keep that moisture there. Here's a big one. It, they have tons of copper in them. So they are great for, um, for arthritis. So if you're suffering from arthritis symptoms, joint swelling, joint pain, anything like that, puffiness around the joints, um, that is actually, they are, they've been proven actually to help reduce that naturally because of the high content of copper. Um, of course, because of all the antioxidants, they're going to be anti-cancer as well. So antioxidants actually help predict, protect us um, from an imbalance of oxidives. So there's antioxidants and there's oxidative stress or oxidives. And so antioxidants actually help protect us against oxidives in our body and help maintain our cellular structure so that we don't get those malformations that we get when cancer cells start to grow. That's actually just 
that's cells overproducing and not shutting off its growth. You know, um, it's not, it, it doesn't, sh actually, they don't die off. They produce, but they don't die off. So they're not in the apoptosis, I can't ever say that word, apoptosis uh, state. And so it's actually very anti-cancer. This is a big one too. It helps prevent, um, it helps protect the liver from oxidative stress as well. Our livers are our filters and they get a lot of junk going through them. And they're made to handle it, but they also have a lot of stress because of that. So when we stress them with exterior toxins that we're putting in our body, um, it actually causes an oxidant effect instead of an antioxidant effect. And so, yes, crazy, crazy. All right, I know, so how do we eat them? I have two more things. Um, they're high content in iron, so if you're suffering from anemia, they're actually really good for that. Um, and then they're good for the heart, so they're gonna lower cholesterol. They have a sesame and sesamolin in them, um, which is actually gonna help lower cholesterol. So black sesame seeds, yes, they are super good. <laughs> That's right, super good for you. So how do you eat them? The, the, everybody that I read their stories, I actually talked to a couple of people that have blogs that said that they did this and that they reversed it. And I asked them if it was easy to keep up with. And, um, I talked to one girl and she was like, yeah, absolutely. It worked really well. My husband, you know, I bet that he lost probably 30 to 40%, not lost the hair, but the pigmentation came back and we could notice an effect in his gray hair. So he actually like reversed, um, reversed the hair, um, color, which I just thought was amazing. Um, and he was eating a tablespoon a day of raw black sesame seeds. So you could, as long as they're raw and not cooked or toasted or anything like that, because when you toast them, these particular things, they actually do lose a lot of those properties. So one tablespoon of black sesame a day. Um, and I guess it took like I guess over a two year period, people have said that they have reversed their gray hair completely. And I would have to see that to believe it, and there's no scientific studies to prove that, but it has been reported that that is the case. So, <laughs> no, don't eat a cupful. That will make you sick. That's too hard. Uh, that's too hard for digestion. So, don't do that. Yes, they are very good for the liver. They actually help protect the liver against oxidative stress. So, um, you can eat them raw. You can also sprout them. Everybody knows about sprouting. <laughs> you can actually sprout them in the same method that you would sprout other types of seeds. If you're, if you know how to sprout sunflower seeds or anything like that, you can actually sprout them um, and eat them that way. That's absolutely fine. Um, so I recommend in salads, in smoothies, on veggies. If you grind them, that's probably going to be fine as well. You're going to come up with a bigger tablespoon. When you eat them, you should chew them well. If you're not grinding them and you're not sprouting them, they should be chewed very very well because what happens in a seed is it is a little tiny thing that has a protective coating on it and it does not want to be eaten eat it it does not want to be eaten <laughs> It does not want to be eaten. So you have to break that up, right? So you can't just eat them and swallow them. So don't just take a tablespoon and swallow it. Your body's not going to know what the hey-ho you've done. It's not going to recognize any of the benefits, and you're just going to poop them right back out. So don't do that. Take your time. Chew them up. You should all be chewing your food until it is unrecognizable. If you do not know if you're chewing your food until it's unrecognizable, then you need to chew your food and you need to spit it back out and see if it's recognizable. And I'm not being, I know, I, Leslie said poop. Oh my God. <laughs> so I was thinking about that actually, about making some tahini with black sesame seeds. Crazy. Um, you could probably make a paste, but always raw. So if, as long as they're raw, yep. So where do you find them? I know it's not easy. You're going to probably have to buy them online unless you have a really good Whole Foods. Now, I will tell you, if you are committed, uh, Asian grocery stores are also probably going to have sesame seeds as well. Um, so yes, so you're probably going to have to find them online. I would try to find them organic as well. Um, you can probably, if you asked your grocer, your local grocery store, hey, I'd really like to order some sesame seeds, they would probably help you but you'd probably be easier just going online and buying it. So no, I'm talking about black sesame seeds raw. Absolutely. Yeah. So you want them raw. So yeah, that's going to be the important part there is getting them raw. I don't know. I've never had them. 
This is not, this is not because I've done this and I know that it works. It's because I've read a lot and people say that it works. So yeah, so look online. I can put a link up to, um, on my, on my page so you guys can find them that way of what, of what I would recommend, what's been recommended to me anyway. So they will say raw on them. So they should not say toasted. They should not say salted. They should not say um, roasted. They should not say anything like that. Yeah, they should be absolutely raw. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently they have a really nice nutty flavor and are really, really good in like salads um, and dressings. I've heard people like uh, grinding them and making like salad dressings with the, you know, like a nice thick uh, salad dressing. I know that sounds really yummy. Yeah, I know. So I have one more tip for you, and this is a funny tip. Um, I was reading, a, a, of course, about reversing gray hair. I was looking all over the internet. I did a huge search in all of my books back here. I have a lot of anti-aging books. Um, I, I looked a lot of places to get this information for you guys and um, to bring it to you in one like little neat package. And <laughs> you found them in Walmart. Oh, my gosh. Okay, awesome. Good for you. Yeah, that's amazing. Good. Somebody said they found them in Walmart. I don't, I, I wouldn't know. So, but here's the thing. So if you want to take one onion, one medium sized onion every single day and juice it every single day and put it on your scalp, rub it into your scalp and leave it for 30 minutes to an hour, that I have seen the results of that as well um, and has reversed gray hair. <laughs> You're probably, hi, thanks for being here. <laughs> So if you want to, <laughs> if you want to be very unpopular, uh, then <laughs> I know exactly that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> if you want to be very unpopular, uh, <laughs> then wash your hair in onion juice and leave it on for 30 minutes to an hour. Organic and Vodacast. Awesome. Thank you guys. I would look, but my computer is froze up and it froze up right before I came on. I don't even know. I should have looked at that. I know, right? I'd be like, Ooh, I would do too. Cause you know how like, <laughs> let's create an onion shampoo. How popular would that be? Onion shampoo created just to get rid of those gray hairs. <laughs> so, so if any of you guys try this, right? Oh gosh. I didn't read that one. Yeah, garlic internally is good for a lot of things, but yes. <laughs> so if you're going to try this, please let me know. I think I'm going to give it a whirl. I think I'm going to give it a whirl. I don't have a lot of gray hair, but I would like for what I have probably not to be there, but not enough to color it or anything like that. And so, um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you one more funny story. This is the best story ever. So I was going to Vegas with a bunch of girlfriends. And I was freaking out because see where my gray hair grows is right in my part. You can see that like right there. They grow right in my part and in my bangs. They don't grow anywhere else. You can see it in there. See it? They do not, it does not grow anywhere else in my stinking hair, right? It's just right here. Hi, thanks for being here as I'm showing you my hair. Here's my hair, right? So it just grows right in front. <laughs> So I was going to Vegas with some girlfriends and his birthday and, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, the, like the one place you want to look young and hip is probably Vegas. And so <laughs> this has been many years ago, actually. So I can't believe I'm about to do these true confessions. So I actually, I actually, the day before we left, I actually sharpied a few of my gray hairs. Like the ones, I had like three, right? And I don't want to, you don't want to pull them out. That's no good because then you're destroying the follicle for real. And so I actually, I actually took a Sharpie and Sharpied my hair and I get to where I'm, so one night I'm going to do it before we're going out because it washes out. As soon as you wash your hair, it's gone, right? And so I'm going to do it right before we're going to go out one night and I did it and I accidentally touched my scalp right in my part and I had like this black dot, <laughs> Like the whole, like the whole night, I had this black dot right here. It was so funny. And it was just like trying to hide it. I was like, no, I don't have that at all. I don't know what you're talking about. 
them, just my girlfriends, and they made fun. I wasn't close enough to anybody else to, for them to notice, but my girlfriends, right, they, uh, they like totally made fun of me all night, and they were like, oh my God, you're so vain that you have to sharpie your hair. They were like taking videos. I'm sure there are videos somewhere on the internet of me sharpieing my hair, so, right? It was so funny, so funny. Yeah, <laughs> ruin all the pillows. Yep, I mean, it's just hilarious. I have a friend that tells a story about going out on a date and she used mascara in her hair. Um, and she had been dating this guy for a while. And yeah, and so really embarrassing. The next morning she wakes up and there is mascara. That mascara was all over her pillow and all over his pillowcases. <laughs> Best gray hair stories ever. I know. <laughs> so funny. I love that story. That of my Sharpie experience. I know. So funny. So I was going to tell you a story of hair loss. My Nana, actually, my Nana, um, she was young. She was very young. Um, and I think she was in her twenties and my great grandfather, who I never got to meet, obviously, cause she was in her twenties, um, died and they were very, very close. And she, <laughs> she got, she got so stressed out over his death and was in, in mourning so deeply, um, that her hair started falling out in the, like by the handfuls. And, um, yeah. And so she has, she has lived with that her entire her life and so uh, so she is really super conscious about any of us getting super stressed out and um, and how to control that she actually went on a crusade to learn how to control that kind of stress because it was so devastating for her yeah yes absolutely yep absolutely it's why men typically lose their hair before women do is because they tax their adrenals and they're filled with cortisol so yep yep yeah, I know. That's what you said. That's why I wanted to circle back around and talk about that. Don't be embarrassed by it. I'm serious. Don't. I know it's very sad and scary and all of those things, but you know what? It's part of it's part of what makes you you at this point. And so it's better to just embrace it and and find uh, find your what your message to yourself is there. So, yeah, I know stress will kill you. People say that all the time, but and they say it tongue in cheek, right? They say it tongue in cheek, you know, it is, uh, it is so, you know, stress will kill you, but it's very true. Actually, it's true. Yeah. A lot of hair loss happens in pregnancy. That is actually a hormone disruption. So yeah, yeah. That happens to a lot of people and the stress pregnancy is hard on the body. So yeah, a lot of stress there. Yeah. So absolutely. Having children is stressful. I mean, having children in your life, which is a wonderful thing, but yeah. I know it's, it's true. It's true. There you go. There's some other things there. Uh, it looks like, uh, B12. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I probably had, I I've noticed more and more gray hair. Um, I, especially around my cancer journey and actually my, my, um, uh, the woman who cuts my hair the other day, she's like, are you getting less gray hair? I was like, I know, I kind of feel like I'm getting less gray hair. And she's like, I think you're getting less gray hair. I was like, awesome. Cause she's begging me all the time to color it. She's like, just let me color it. It would be so beautiful. We'll just do a light tint and it'll cover the grays. And I'm like, no, not doing it, <laughs> not doing it. So I know, <laughs> who knows? I'm no secrets there. I don't have any secrets for you. So, cause I don't eat sesame seeds, but I'm going to try them. So <laughs> thank you, Marcy. Thank you. Thank you guys. I am, I, I know that I am blessed with a great head of hair. <laughs> I am, I come from a family full of people with great hair. <laughs> it's just part of my genetic makeup. So <laughs> yeah, they're there though. Trust me. If you could see me in person, you would see them, especially in the sunshine. See them in there. They're there. My hair is just so dark and so thick and they just kind of lay inside of the, yeah. Yeah. I know, and that's why I don't color it. I've never colored my hair, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get on that bandwagon. So, I know, just shiny hair. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I have a friend that colors her hair, and she does it very lightly. And you see, you can see that gray one right there. Um, but she colors her hair, and um, she does it very, very light and like a light color. Not a light color in the sense of the pigment, but a light 
like over the top of her hair and um, her grays are like these golden little shiny strands through her hair they're like these little golden strands it's actually quite pretty ah okay hair print is a color so that's how you test what color you have so I know it is really pretty actually yeah okay guys I am I know <laughs> I know, I know, it's so true. It's so hip right now to have silver hair and be, you know, like 21. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> she started that. Lady, I blame Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes, that's what hair alopecia is for sure. <laughs> I do. She had, remember she went, she did that whole gray hair thing. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I do want to just invite you super fast. Um, I do want to invite you to something. I should have done it earlier. I am so bad at this. I'm bad at this kind of marketing. But I do want to invite you to go over to uh, gotokitchens.com forward slash webinar, which you can't see that at all. Um, this is my new gotokitchens.academy. There is a fun video there. If you have not seen it, please go check it out. It's actually pretty funny. If you go to this website, go to kitchens dot com forward slash webinar thank you Marcy for putting it in you just need an email address and you're gonna get an invitation um, probably on Thursday this week you're gonna get an invitation to join me for my first free webinar this webinar is gonna be about my new program at Kitchen Anatomy um, and Kitchen Anatomy is all about uh, 10 steps to detoxing your kitchen I can detox your kitchen and 10 steps now I'm not gonna say easy steps <laughs> but I am gonna say um, yes absolutely guys are absolutely allowed everybody's allowed this is a this is an all play <laughs> so yes so the webinar is on Friday the webinar is absolutely free um, no it's totally silly that video is it's so silly I should play it for you but um, but I'm gonna be giving away a splat gift package this is not it this is just a bunch of splats in a jar I'm gonna give away a splat gift package that has some of my favorite tools in it for the kitchen so I'm gonna be giving that away so that's gonna set you up automatically I'm gonna give that away on Friday and I'm also giving away one free tuition so um, and tuition is gonna be very reasonable we are not trying to make you know we're not trying to be millionaires with this <laughs> we are trying to get the word out my goal for you guys is always I just want you you to have the education so yes and it's not this particular class other classes to come are going to be really focused on cooking this class is actually about getting you to fall in love with your kitchen the kitchen that you have right now today not the kitchen of your dreams but the kitchen that you have right now today so it's this Friday yes it's this Friday on Good Friday I did that on purpose um, because I thought people would be off work <laughs> so yes and this is helping you get organized it is helping you learn to clean efficient methods of cleaning it's helping you detox uh, cleaning products out of your um, that you may be using and helping making you are your own and saving them I'm actually bringing in an expert to, to help us with that it's gonna be videos it's gonna be written and it's gonna be um, and it is going to be uh, worksheets so yeah <laughs> Awesome. Good. I'm glad you're here then. So it's going to be all of those things. It's going to be for a reasonable price. And I will tell you that at the webinar, we are actually going to go into pre-sale at the webinar. So pre-sale for the class will be available. It is a self-paced class. Um, and it is, and you're going to know, I'm going to, I'm going to actually go through the entire outline with you on Friday, all 10 steps. I mean, not in detail, but tell you what the class subjects are. And you will have a special code, a QR coupon code from that webinar that you can go and sign up for pre-sale and it's going to give you a really significant discount so I want all of my charter members people that join me the first time around to get a lot of bang for your buck so um, so that you'll tell everybody how awesome it is and they have to come do it too <laughs> So, so yes, and it's going to be jam packed with content. You know that I am the content queen, right? 
<laughs> I am the content queen. And so, um, so I, it is going to, this, this class is going to be jam packed. So yes, yeah, so there'll be a coupon code that I hand out that day and go into presale. So <laughs> yes. And so you, it'll go into presale. The program is not going to launch for about six weeks. And I say about because we're trying to nail down a definite date right now, but the program itself is not going to launch for six weeks, but you will be invited over to a Facebook page from presale. You will be invited to a Facebook page to start the conversation, to get the ball rolling. Um, so, and you can join other people that are in the class there as well. So, um, so yes. Yeah, awesome, good. I, I want you to be there. So go to kitchens.com forward slash webinar. I hope to see all of you guys there. It's absolutely free to sign up for the webinar. And then I will tell the price and the outline and all of these great things um, to come. So a natural deodorant that really works. Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Um, I use a company's brand. It's called, um, <laughs> yay. Um, it's called pH. Um, if you will send me a message in Facebook or email me, uh, from my website, I will give you that brand information. Yeah. I do not use Tom's. Nope. Tom's was just bought by a larger corporation. Yeah. pH. I love pH. Yeah. Wholehealthana.com does some, uh, thank you, Janie, does some natural deodorant products as well. Um, so yes. Yeah. So just send me a message and we'll get that. We'll, I'll give you some of, I'll give you a couple of websites to make your own and then also what I personally use. So yeah, cause I don't always have time to make my own. Let's be honest. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> so it is, it's not always practical for me to have my own sitting around. So yeah, yeah. $10. Yeah, they're not cheap, but they last a really long time. So mine's in a little jar. Is yours in a little jar with a little wooden spatula? And you knead it in your hands and then stick it in your armpits? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I just did the motions too. All right. So tomorrow we are talking about wrinkles, wrinkles. I do not make my own regularly. I do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. They're small. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I do not make my own regularly. So tomorrow we're going to talk about foods that help with anti-aging and wrinkles. So this whole week we're talking about food equals beauty. So beautiful things in, beautiful things out, right? So we're, that's what we're talking about. So tomorrow's wrinkles, uh, Thursday, we're talking about yellowing teeth. I'm going to, I'm going to throw down a tip for you guys that is going to knock your socks off. You do not need strips for your teeth anymore. I'm going to teach you how to get white teeth naturally. Um, and then on Friday, I'm making one of my favorite salads, which is a berry and leafy green salad. So we're going to use berries. We're going to make a champagne vinaigrette. So, yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> so I, I whiten my teeth naturally. So that's going to be a good one. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. And then coming up next week, next week, I'm super excited about next week. We are going to do raw vegan all week next week. What? I am not a vegan, by the way, if you're following me, I am not a vegan. I do not just cater to vegans. I do all kinds of recipes, but I do believe in eating a really strong plant-based diet. And if I'm going to preach that all the time, then I need to educate you guys on how to eat more raw food. That's super important for me, eating a lot of raw food. Uh, I eat 90% veggies, right? So 90% veggie plant-based basically. And then 50% uh, of that 90% is raw. And so it's super important that you're getting some raw foods in your diet. So I need to teach you some recipes that you can throw into the mix. So next week is all raw vegan food. Of course, most raw food is vegan. So yeah, there's not a lot of meat products you should eat raw. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes. Well, I'm, I am, uh, I've been on this health journey for about three years. So, yep. Bye. Thanks for being here. Louisa. <laughs> it takes me so long to say your name. My brain just doesn't work that fast. I'm Louisa, 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 Louisa. Do I ever scope on what I eat regularly? No. You know why? Because you would be totally bored. <laughs> 
That's awesome. I love that you're interested in that. You should follow me. Um, I do scopes on a regular basis. You should join Kitchen Anatomy as well. Um, go over to go to kitchens.com forward slash webinar, sign up for that webinar and see if Kitchen Anatomy is right for you because I'm going to be talking in that class. I'm going to be talking about meal planning. I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm going to be talking about grocery store shopping. I'm going to be talking about all those kinds of things. So yeah, I mean, it's, that's part of setting up a healthy kitchen is understanding these principles. So I'm going to be teaching those things in that class. Um, so, but no, the things I eat are so boring. You guys would be surprised at how plain that I eat on a regular basis. Yeah. Awesome. Good. I hope to see you over there. Um, because I eat really, I, I'm pretty plain Jane eater. Pretty much it's vegetables. Um, <laughs> a little bit of meat. Yeah. Not a whole lot of spices or anything. So, uh, I know grocery store, they, <laughs> grocery store scopes are hard to do. Um, there are people that are disrespectful about live broadcasting and they don't ask before they try to live broadcast. And so when people like me come around and we say, Hey, we'd like to live broadcast. Is it okay if we do it in your store? They say no because of the other disrespectful people. So it's, yeah, cause I'm never going to do it without, uh, without, you know, without asking permission ever, 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 ever. So great scope today, you guys. Great audience. Thank you. <laughs> know, go get your black sesame seeds. If you're just joining, I uh, please check out replay. So where where is kitchen what? Kitchen bony? Boy? <laughs> is that what you're asking? Dog? He's laying over there. <laughs> uh Yes, thank you so much. I love I love having you guys here. Thank you for being here. Kitchen Anatomy. Kitchen Anatomy is actually uh kitchen is it's two A's. So C H I excuse me. K K I T oh crap, hold on. I just have to look at it and stop guessing. Stop guessing, Leslie. Uh K I T C H A N A T O M Y. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna go check it out. I promise. I swear. I swear. Um, so replays will come up uh, at the end of this broadcast. When I end broadcast, it will actually go automatically into replay and you can just hit the little play button or you can search by uh, go to kitchens. So yeah, go to kitchens. If you're not following me, uh, you should see me in replays automatically. So where can you find Kitchen Anatomy? So uh, go to kitchens.com forward slash webinar is for the webinar, the free webinar on Friday to um, to give you an outline of what's happening in Kitchen Anatomy and for you to make an educated decision if it's right for you or not. We'll actually go into pre-sale that day as well. So we will go into pre-sale. There's going to be a limited amount of the pre-sale um, I'm going to limit it to the first hundred people <laughs> that sign up in pre-sale. Um, and so after the first hundred people sign up in pre-sale, then that price is going away forever and you'll never get it again. <laughs> so yes, and it's a pretty big discount. So pre-sale will be open for a little while. If you need some time to think about it, if you need to, you're not going to be charged right away for it. You won't be charged until you actually start the class. Um, the class goes live and then you're charged and that's about eight weeks from now. So it gives you some time to save up and prepare as well. So yeah, I'm trying to do this the right way. I want to do it where people are not shocked into, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know, and I have to tell you, I will tell you right now up front that this class is under $200, uh, well under $200. And so, um, and it's a 10 step class that is going to be jam packed with information. So I wanted to keep it affordable for people. It was a priority for me to keep it affordable. So yeah. There's a lot of talk about don't underprice yourself, don't underprice your skills, but you know what? I, I'd rather have a hundred of you at a lower price than have five of you at a super high price because my goal is to get the word out. I want to educate you. That's my goal. Money's awesome, but it's not my goal. So <laughs> I know Sherry's like, I'm there. I'm to I'm doing it. I love you guys so much. You're amazing. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. I was supposed to be off here like 20 minutes ago, but I love you too much and I just stay. <laughs> so, all right. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, actually tomorrow. Dang. I need to put this out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You'd still find your way. You'd still find your way, Janie, because you're determined. You have that you have that need, you have that incessant need to want to know. And so you would still find your way. You'd be just fine. 
But thank you for saying that. It's very sweet. So tomorrow I'm broadcasting at 11. Sorry, guys. I should have said that a long time ago. Tomorrow I'm actually broadcasting at 11 because it's my husband's birthday. Today is my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you so very much. You know how much I love you. I could not... Uh, I couldn't stand to be here without you. You're an amazing woman. Thank you for everything. Um, and tomorrow's my husband's birthday. And so we're taking the afternoon off. So I'm broadcasting at 11 and uh, we're going to Denver and playing around and we're going to go antique shopping and all kinds of stuff. I know. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> I know, right? You can take some time off for Robin. <laughs> His birthday's tomorrow, so yeah, I'll tell him you said you guys said happy birthday. We're actually, I'll probably periscope it because we're going down to Denver, or yeah, down, up, whatever. We're going to Denver, and we are, he loves to drive these little race car go-karts, and they're super fast. They go like 60 miles an hour, and on a, which is fast for a go-kart. And he loves to drive them. And so because he used to be a race car driver, that's what he did in his former life. And so um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but he used to drive cars for a living. And so he loves to go down. So we're going to go down and do that. And I'm not driving. He is. But I think I'm going to periscope it because it's kind of fun to watch him. So now he's really good. He's like, he's really good. <laughs> I love to watch him drive cars. It's so amazing. <laughs> so this is, it's like, it's my birthday to watch him drive cars. So <laughs> it's really fun. So yeah, but we're going to go kick around and do that. So excited, excited, hashtag excited. All right, you guys, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Love you so much. I know he's adorable. I love him. Um, I will see you tomorrow at 11. Love you. We're talking about wrinkles tomorrow. Bye. Have a good afternoon.